Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and are having an amazing day or week. Uh, I'm having a really, really good day today. I woke up with a burst of energy and I was just like, I want to get things done this week. Therefore, I'm starting a weekly vlog. We are back with the weekly vlogs. It's been a while, it has been a while, but I'm so excited. And I haven't had the best week last week, but we're gonna leave that in last week. And we're gonna step into this week with a positive mindset and just you know a list of goals to tackle and you know getting all the things that you want to get done done that you weren't able to last week so we're starting fresh i've woken up with the burst of energy like i said and i just wanted to get things done so i'm starting a weekly vlog we are back with the weekly vlogs i'm so excited because these are so fun to do and also it keeps me accountable especially when i say i'm gonna do something then i have to do it because you guys are gonna be like you said you're gonna do this but you didn't so have you guys watching me so i have to do it and it makes me feel good honestly how are you all doing i really really want to know like genuinely so leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know how you're all doing how your week has been so far or last week let me know let's chit chat so today i thought we can kick start off this weekly vlog with showing you guys how i meal prep sundays are usually my meal prep days it sets me off to a good start for the week especially when i get my meal prepping in i try not to do too much anymore i try to just maybe do three meals and honestly whenever i meal prep it really does stop me from spending unnecessary money on takeaways otherwise if there's nothing in the fridge for me to eat i just order out and it's so bad i'm trying to get better with money management so first step is to meal prep make sure that you do that so that you know you are going to eat at home okay i'll show you what i'm making this week so this week we are making chicken and rice pilau which is one of my favorites i love that i haven't had it in so long we are also making a beef madras curry that's going to be delicious because i have never made anything like that before and we're also going to be making some beef mince uh for taco fillings so for me i feel like whenever i have filling of some type of meat vegetable for the rest of the week i can just mix match things so i can have that in a quesadilla i can have it in a wrap i can have it with rice i'm going to do the same for chicken so i'm going to marinate some chicken i'll show you the marinade i use but yeah um let's go downstairs and get started i am downstairs ready to get my chef hat on my husband has just taken the kids out for a walk for some fresh air because you know when the kids are in doors way too much since the morning um they just start fighting bickering for no reason so they've gone out for some fresh air they'll be back very soon so it'll start to get louder <laughs> but you know what i was thinking as i was coming downstairs says i was just thinking how we used to eat family meals together at least one each day so much more than we do right now and i really miss that i just really do do you guys sit down and have family meals together let me know and how often do you because i feel like that is something that's so important to me and i think every family should do it at least one meal a day we have ours be dinner most of the time because that's that time where we're all together and everybody's finished work finished school breakfast is a no <laughs> no no lunch obviously kids are in school apart from the weekends but yeah one sit down family meal i try because honestly try it without gadgets or anything on um, the table it'll make the world of difference but i've noticed you guys know me i'm a woman of fascination by gadgets i love gadgets i love making my life easy i love anything that will simplify cooking for me and that is definitely about to show you right now if you're somebody that likes to cut down your cooking time okay and you like your quick 10 minute meals you don't have a lot of time like me i work full time my husband does too and we have children that are in full-time school so when they're in school i just i'm running around trying to get the house clean trying to get my work done trying to film edit i don't have time to slave away on the stove for hours okay i want something quick delicious that will all enjoy the family and i'm sure all of you guys especially if you're busy parents working parents like us you'll benefit of benefit from not of <laughs> so what i'm about to show you guys right now has been a game changer i've been using it non-stop all week testing it out for you guys testing out different recipes i did film a little unboxing uh, before i used it 
for the first time so I can show you guys how it looks, the features, etc. So this is the Tefal Cook For Me Touch new digital pressure cooker and it's been designed for modern living, helping you cook over 550 recipes from scratch and it's essentially been created for people that haven't got a lot of time to spend cooking and like speedy, quick, fast meals with easy step-by-step -step guides. It has over 250 built-in recipes plus 300 more on the free app that I'm showing you right here for stress-free meal planning. And over 150 of these recipes have a cooking time of just 10 minutes or less. So these are some of the recipes that I'm scrolling through here and I've decided to make this uh, beef madras curry which is delicious i've made it before and it has a cooking time of 30 minutes in total it has all the ingredients laid out there for you and you just press on that send to device once you've done that the recipe shows up on the full color touch screen device as you can see and it shows you how to create your meal step by step which is fantastic if you ask me and here are all my ingredients laid out now it's going to preheat this is so cool i told you guys this is a game changer so if somebody in your house doesn't know how to cook your husband or your wife then this is amazing because look at the step by step in photos as well like you can't go wrong you don't have to faff about with the settings because look for the curry it is preheating it just at the right temperature that i need it at when this goes to the end the preheating is completed fantastic is that gadget i told you guys game changer and honestly the thing i love most about it is that somebody that has never cooked a day in their lives can use this gadget and create a beautiful meal for the entire family to enjoy and you think they're a pro they're a chef but no it is literally so simple to follow you guys saw it gives you a step by step um, so i'm going to go ahead and leave the link for the tiff i'll cook for me in the description box below check it out if you guys want to i don't know update your gadgets and you want to have something that you can both use both of you and your partner or even your family members why or if you want to gift it because honestly if i had this when i first got married it would have made cooking so much more fun if you guys have young children that are constantly bored then this is a really good activity just get a balloon blow it up get some I pva glue by mouth well oh, very good pva glue all well each patch and then give them some paper towel to just stick it on yeah, and cover and the entire thing yeah so, so you have to rip some pieces and then yeah can you see what malik is doing glue. here malik is brushing and then I got some paper. And then he gets some this paper. This is my second sheet. Oh, okay. And then he just sticks I it on. And he has to cover the entire thing. I my See, and Liana is here painting her nails with this um, water color type of paint. And I gave her some things to color in. So she's busy doing this for the past 10 minutes. Pull, pull, pull. I get it. Okay. okay? Okay. And then there's a bigger muscle group here from waist down, mm. which is the legs. Okay. So you've got it. Just very good balance. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. So today we're gonna do legs. Okay. Personal trainer. <laughs> Brother. No. Are you happy? No. Brother not happy. He's not happy. Yeah. Why is he not happy? Bug one in the bed gun. Oh, Bugs one in his pizza gummy. Two bugs actually. One was in the middle. Oh, I'm so sorry, So that Malik. touched the tip of everybody's. I'm so sorry. We got a new one for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And a got and a dog coming. And a dog is coming. Well. So for the grilled chicken, this is the seasoning I'm using, um, a bit of this that I picked up from Aldi and the only thing that's missing here is olive oil and <clears throat> turmeric. So all of this, gonna go in there, mix it all up, 
and it is ready. Oh, lemon juice as well. Forgot to add lemon juice. So I've mixed everything up, added lemon juice. Now I'm just gonna pop it in this container and grill it all tomorrow. And I'll just insert the clip right after this, but note I have left it to marinate for 24 hours because it just tastes much nicer than cooking it right away. Progress with the... It's done. Uh, you can add beans, uh, peppers, mixed peppers, sweet corn. But we're going to take some out for the kids, put it in a container uh, because they don't like it mixed with other things and we're going to jazz it up for ourselves. And this is the progress of my chicken pilau. The masala is almost ready. And then I'm just going to chuck in the chicken, let it just coat each part with the sauce. And I'm going to add some water. Add some rice, mix it up, and it's done. But I'll show you the finished product. So here we've taken some bits of the taco mix out for the kids. So we're going to jazz this up. Actually, we decided not to because it goes off quicker when you add vegetables, apparently, rather than by itself. So cook the, the vegetables separately and then top it up when you're doing your rice bowls, salad bowls, taco bowls, whatever. Just do it then. The chicken pilau is done. Look how good that looks. Ah, it actually tastes really good. Um, I tasted it earlier just to see if the rice was cooked. But yeah, it's all done. I added a tiny bits of potato in there. If you would like to see a full recipe on how I made this, it's so easy. <laughs> uh, let me know and I will be sure to do that in another video. I also made this little salad here that looks incredible if I do say so myself. It's just got um, this mint sauce I added in there from Aldi. But I chopped up onions really, really fine. I've got some olives, I've got some tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce. I'm going to mix it all up and we're going to eat this with the chicken pilau. And it's currently, what time is it? Almost eight o'clock. So here is the finished product. I've actually sprinkled some extra chili powder on this because I made it child friendly and I didn't want my kids to complain. They complain about the tiniest amount of chili. And who else likes the burnt bits? <laughs> no, it's not really badly burnt. Who else likes these crunchy burnt bits at the bottom of the pan? I do. So nice. No, it isn't. It isn't like black burnt. It's like golden, you know? It's so nice. I did want to start this vlog at home but I had no time, literally. I woke up so late today, guys. <laughs> I've been promising myself I will go to bed at 10.30 p.m. for the longest time. And yesterday I was on the H&M website mid-morning until 11.30 when I completed the order because I kept starting and stopping. And yeah, by the time, because I have to vision these outfits that I'm buying and I take so long. Order made, slept at 12.30. <laughs> I woke up at 8 today which you might think oh that's that's nice it's a nice lay-in but bless uh, my husband he deals with the kids not the kids but Liana she woke up at 5 a.m. she's been doing this thing where she wakes up at 6 a.m. saying I'm hungry or is it 5 yeah and then she makes you go downstairs with her feed her and then we bring her back to bed but she doesn't sleep so 5 a.m. starts for him um, yeah, I need to get to bed early, honestly. Anyway, we are off to town. My husband's just gone to collect some Royal Mail, those little red parcels, because I need it for work. I need to create some things today. So hopefully he can get that for us. And also, we are heading into town. I have to return something from Primark. And then I need to return something in TK Maxx, maybe pick up some candles. And I need a bit of like some makeup things plus perfume from Boots. We have a really large Boots in Piccadilly. So I'm gonna sit here and edit some things on my phone. I got this new phone case and my kids think it's hilarious. Um, they're like, we love your phone case, mommy. Next time, can you get a poo one? I might have to do that just for the jokes of it. 
because they will not believe it. Did we or did we not Let carry this, this throughout the whole of town and everybody stare at us like honestly <laughs> everybody was staring at us and they were like where'd you get that from yes. look who's back from nursery and tucked herself in the sofa did you have a good day today or not a good day yeah. a good day yeah. so much better from yeah, the beginning of last though. week yeah tell me did you play with anybody I am back home, kids are back home. We came back around one-ish, but I popped on to show you guys the things that we bought. And guys, today I've been walking around. I don't know how I've been walking because unless you have done a leg day exercise at the gym, just legs, okay? Because right now I have PT and you guys know it's my husband <laughs> and I'm working out every single day and we do like different parts of the body each day. So yesterday was legs, today's active recovery because I'm finished. I haven't picked up weights for so long and then all of a sudden, you know that feeling of muscle ache after working out after a really long time, but we went ham on legs on one day. So yeah, you can imagine <laughs> my legs are hurting. I'm gonna go for about an hour walk now. I mean, it helps to not sit still. Massage feels really good as well, <laughs> but it helps not to sit still. And I haven't been in a walk for a long, long time now. Maybe four days, that's a long time for me. Um, so I'm gonna do that after I show you everything that I picked up. I promised you a haul earlier, so here we go. Um, in TK Maxx, I just went to return something and then I walked out with this candle. <laughs> what does this scream out? Autumn, and this is the pumpkin allspice. I'm pretty sure they have this in every TK Maxx, but go in there and smell it. It's only six pounds, 5.99. And I would have picked up way more, but this was positioned at the checkout. So as I walked by, <laughs> waiting in the queue, I just picked it up and I was like, this is coming with me. And my husband was like, you have so many candles and all of the stuff that husbands say. And I told him, if you wasn't here, I would have picked up five more. So next time I go to TK Maxx, he ain't coming. <laughs> and uh, next, I picked something up from Valentino. It's my first time. Oh, it smells good in here. So this is the perfume that I picked up in Valentino. And this is the Born in Roma. No, it's the Donna. The, yeah, this is the one I liked. He sprayed two. And it's like the first one he prayed. Prayed, wow. Yeah, this is the one that I really liked. The Donna one. So I picked that up in the 50 ml. That's weird because he said that he's going to give me the 75 mil. I picked up this setting powder from Huda Beauty. I literally went, why am I so close to you guys? I was in your face. Anyway, um, I went into the boots in town because I wanted this setting powder. Not this one specifically, the Laura Mercier that I really love. However, because I couldn't find the stall, I don't know if you guys are from Manchester and you know the really big boots in that shade thing is there laura mercier there is there i don't know but i'm gonna order it online either way but because this was the only thing that's there and i need it because i'm going away tomorrow i picked it up in the shade kunafa let me know if you guys have the huda beauty setting powder and what you think of it i'll have everything linked so make sure you check it i'll link it all below everything i believe these jeans were so cheap I don't know, I think maybe they were like £4.50 on sale of the day that I was looking at. And I was so shocked. So I just picked them up. And they are the organic high-rise tapered mom jeans. <laughs> they look massive. I got a size 12. But sometimes the 10 is too tight. So I like to go one size up just to be on the safe side. I'd rather it be a little bit big on me than way too tight. Um, even if it's a little bit big, I'll just use that hack that you see in TikTok where you put the thing through here. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, so this is how it looks. 
I'll try it on for you guys actually. But first, let me show you everything. It looks really thick. And I bought a bunch of jackets from H&M yesterday, so I don't think. Ooh, I love it. Maybe I am gonna keep it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the jacket. It looks nice. Oh, I like it. I love me my satin pajamas. And I got this in a size 10. Yeah, oh. I just wanna go jump in the bath. Have a lovely bath. And then get into my pajamas. That's what this is giving me right about now. And there's the trousers. Oh, it's so soft. I love it. Yeah, love that. I got this t-shirt dress. I think it was only two pounds. It was on the reduced, reduced aisle. And I got this in the size six. But I think it's very oversized. Yeah, it's massive. Look, it's so big. It's a hot pink color and is a shirt dress essentially and i just thought this would be nice to just lounge around the house you know it is a short dress and it was like two pounds materials nice if i want to i can wear it with a skirt and like you know basically tuck it in and my skirt that i have the black one is quite flowy or if you want to get creative you can just chop it off two pounds I'll take it. I don't have a hot pink top. I think it was on the sale as well. And this, I don't know if it's going to fit me. We'll see. This is size 10, high-waisted mom jeans. I'm sure it's got a name, but I'll link it below for you guys. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to fit me. <laughs> it looked nice on the model though, so let me try it on for you guys. That's everything. I thought since I have this outfit on, I might as well show you like this. So I picked up this, what do you call it? It's not a shacket, it's just a shirt. <laughs> it's like a nice beige shirt, as you can see. And it's just really nice and lightweight. It I got it in a size 10. So yeah, and then I got this joggers. These joggers are so nice and soft. They are a little bit big for me. I got them in a size 10, so if you're usually a 10, maybe size down, but I really like the fit of it. I like that it's a little bit baggy and yeah. I like this whole outfit together actually. It's really comfortable for chilling in at home, wanting to go do your errands. These are the jeans that I said that wouldn't fit me the size 10. So I'm gonna keep them. I have no shoes on now, obviously. I think them, I probably like the fit of these better than the fit of the other ones. And the color of these better as well. Mm, yeah, but I do love those anyway, so I'm gonna keep them. I love the fit, the baggy fit. This is the jacket. There's no pockets, which I'm not loving. Um, so I think it's gonna have to go back, I'm not gonna lie. If it had pockets, it would be really, really nice because I like to put my hands somewhere. <laughs> but I do like the style of it, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish it was a little bit longer. I like the longer style jacket. These pajamas are so luxurious and so soft. I'm not kidding. Way better than the I saw at first. So if you want to invest in quality pajamas, this is it. It feels the luxury. I can feel the luxury in the material, honey. <laughs> so yeah, definitely recommend this. Um, if you want to treat yourself a little, I wanted to treat myself. I bought this two weeks ago. I haven't opened it. So I'm glad I'm opening it and sharing it with you guys. I got it in a size medium for size reference. I'm at 8, 10. Definitely recommend it. Oh my god, I wish you guys could feel the material in this. Isabel says I'm going to get Show you guys this again. The camera flipped because my mirror is a little bit foggy. I'm trying to clean it. I've cleaned it with so many different things and it's still a bit foggy. But the quality on these pajamas, listen. If you're on the market for some good quality pajamas, I'm gonna link these for you because you need them. I love them. Anyway, reality calls. I need to go wash my girl's bum and then I'm going to go for my walk because I miss walking, even though every step I take makes my legs feel like they're about to fall off. 
gonna do it anyway because I know that's the only way I'll get better rather than just sitting still. So I've just finished editing this video that you guys are watching right now on my computer and I realized I did not end it. There's no ending clip. It just ended quite abruptly so I didn't want to leave it like that. I wanted to come here, say thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It is, ooh it's getting bright now. Sorry the lighting is going to change. It is, um, it has been a while since I've done it so I'm easing my way back into it. There's going to be another one next week. So I hope you enjoyed the first of many to come. And I also wanted to give a big thanks to Tifal for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And I will leave them linked in the description bar below. The Cook For Me Touch, honestly, I love it so much. I've been using it all week. Um, I'm going to be trying their 10 minute recipes in other videos. I'll show you anyway as I do it. Or even on Instagram if you follow me. Um, obviously that's not sponsored. It's just because I love it. I'm going to be integrating it in my cooking routine from now on. Because I really do like the concept of it. And it's so cool. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it linked below if you guys want to check it out for some more information. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.